Hello and welcome to Money Tips. This is Charles Kelly bringing you money tips to help you save, earn, invest, accumulate and enjoy more money. I'm the author of the book Yes Money Can Buy You Happiness. I spent 25 years in financial services working in banks, insurance companies and with my own broking firm. And I've seen thousands and thousands of people over the years uh, you know, and, and looked at their financial situation in, in depth and, and sat with them. And they probably told me things that they wouldn't even tell their own family. So I, I know how people manage their money. I, I've seen it time and time again. And many people ask me, should I invest in things like Bitcoin and uh, digital coins? And should I buy shares in, and should I buy shares in this or shares in that? Or let's get into Asia, that sort of thing. And what I would say to them is invest in things that you understand and only invest in things you understand. Don't just follow the herd or follow the latest trend and buy Bitcoin because you saw Bitcoin going up last year because, you know, it, it may have gone up last year. But when you get in or when I jump into these things, they normally go down because you're just following the herd again. So I, I would only invest in things that you really understand. And if you don't understand them, then learn about them and try and find out if you want to learn about Bitcoin, then go and go on a course or, or just Google it and start reading about Bitcoin. To me, I don't really understand Bitcoin and digital coins. It, it seems to me like a load of smoke and mirrors, but I could be very wrong. Maybe it is the future. Maybe this blockchain technology is the future. But, you know, I, I'm not going to go into something that A, I don't understand and B, I, I don't really believe in it because I can't see who is backing this up if, if things go wrong. It'll be interesting to see how these things fare in a, in a crisis. Um, and, you know, you, you see Bitcoin being used by uh, people in, in the criminal world that can hide their money in, in Bitcoins. And to me, I, I don't want to be involved in something like that because when the regulators start cracking down and say, well, this is money laundering, then they're, they're, it's, going to be, it's going to be trouble for them. So that's what I would say. So if you don't understand, if you want to invest in shares, Go and, go and do a stock market course, go and uh, either Google it, buy a book, go, go to evening classes or, or go to a stock market course where you can really learn how, how to invest in shares. Because because shares have, in, when you're investing in shares, you're buying a share in a, in a company, it's a long-term investment. So there's nothing wrong with that as long as you understand and you know what you're doing. I would rather do it that way than to, to just give my money to a unit trust or an investment trust and say, here you go, take my money, and you know you invest it for me and i'll see you in 20 years time uh, to me that that is not the way to do it they're going to take out a lot of money in charges and fees and and the fees involved with churning shares as well and quite frankly a lot of them do not even match the the average growth in the index of of the various stock markets they can't even you know they can't even get any better results than the average growth in the stock market or the average index growth. So that to me, why would you want to give someone money that doesn't even match the average, you know, and they're supposed to be there picking stocks. You can do tracker funds as well, uh, which just track the indexes. They're a low cost version. And if you don't want to learn about it, that's the next best thing. Uh, other things that traditionally people have invested in is property. Again, I, I think you've got to know how to invest in property and learn about it rather than just saying, well, you know, this this town is getting a new rail link, so I'll, I'll jump in there, I'll pile in there. You don't know because maybe people have been piling in there for the last couple of years and it's reached a peak. So you've got to do your research. You've got to know what you're doing. You've got to know which properties to buy. Are they uh, you know, suitable to, to let? Are they suitable to, to buy and flip? What's your strategy? All these things that you need to know. So I definitely wouldn't just go out and buy property uh, just because, you know, some guy down the pub is doing well in property, uh, you know, again, it's something you, you need to learn. And I, I know several courses you can do to get you started in property. Uh, so if you want to learn about that, just just text me. Um, I read today that uh, Google are offering bank accounts or they're about to offer bank accounts uh, following companies like Facebook, Uber, Apple and Amazon who are all getting into financial services, uh, credit cards and uh, payment systems. Uh, so obviously this can be quite a good thing for the consumer. It will give us more choice. At the moment, we're kind of tied into the banks and, uh, you know, we have to deal with their slow payment system. Like, you know, you pay in a check at the bank uh, four or five days later, they still haven't cleared it. So, you know, we've had this over the years. And when you're transferring money abroad, you know, the banks used to be terrible. They, they, they would 
take days and days and days to, to move it. They would charge you quite a lot of money. They were slow, cumbersome. And, and now these new companies have come in. Uh, you can move money around the world much faster. So that's what's happening with... Uh, they're also they're, they're teaming up with a bank, with Goldman Sachs. Uh, to, to, but I, I think you know, very soon we'll be able to move money around much quicker from our phones using things like Apple Wallet Pay Service and Google Pay and, and that sort of thing. So th this, this is a good thing. I noticed that Facebook wanted to launch their own currency called Libra. And I, I, to me, I don't think that's going anywhere. It could be another uh, Bitcoin thing. I don't, I don't know. Uh, but you know, th these things that are coming, it's no, there's no doubt that Google and Facebook and, and, and Apple control a huge amount of uh, the market. They've got huge databases of billions of people. And th there's no doubt that they're, they're looking to increase their income and their revenue. But this could be good for the consumer as well. In China, company like, companies like Alibaba have got into this much earlier and you know the american companies are, are, are lagging behind what china is doing in terms of payment systems and, and that sort of thing so so there you go um my, my message tonight is definitely invest in things you understand and, and don't just follow the herd but learn how to do things properly and and then go into things with your eyes open rather than just handing your money over to a, a fund manager or somebody else uh, because i i think it's better to learn how to do it yourself at least understand it and, and as always take your own financial advice see a financial advisor independent financial advisor i'm not your financial advisor i'm just here giving you information only so thanks very much for listening have a, have a great evening or great day wherever you are and i'll speak to you again soon thanks very much this is charles kelly bringing you money tips to help you save earn invest accumulate and enjoy more money thanks for everyone tuned in on facebook live and on, on my podcast also, which you can find on iTunes, Stitcher, and on moneytipsdaily.com. I also noticed something in London uh, recently that uh, a leading uh, property company is saying that London is, London's West End will face a, an office shortage, that there's only one or two major projects coming up in the next couple of years, uh, which is interesting because the government have pursued a policy of allowing uh, people to convert offices to residential very easily and I think this is creating a, a, an office space shortage and I think that's gone too far and you know we'll see what happens but at least it shows that companies are still investing in the UK uh, they're, they're still uh, interested in office space because all the office space that's, that's been built has been pre-let which is a good thing so despite all these Brexit fears and you know talk of doom and gloom London will still be a major financial centre, it will still be a major place to do business and long may that reign. So London is still a major city and always will be whether we're in the European Union or out of the European Union because we're, we're not leaving Europe, we're still part of Europe. Uh, it's just that we will be trading with Europe, we can visit Europe, we can be part of Europe as we always have been but we don't need to be controlled by one particular organisation in Europe. So, so there you go. Thanks very much for listening and have a great evening. Thanks for people who tuned in there. I can see Jins, uh, Dave, Delin, uh, Sam. Th thanks very much for tuning in. Appreciate that. And do some your, your comments through. And once again, if you're interested in property, just email me or put, send me a message on, on Messenger. And th there are free courses where you can go on and just do a taste a day to see if, if property is for you. And I, I think that they're very, they'll, they'll tell you, you know, uh, teach you about the various strategies that you can go into because it's not just about buy to let there are lots of different things you can do in property such as you know buying to flip or rent to rent or, or doing lease options or rent to buy uh, or you know commercial uh, commercial conversions commercial to residential there, there are so many different strategies developments uh, refurbs and I think if, if you if you do if you do these one or two day taster days or discovery days as they're sometimes called they're absolutely free uh, why are they free they're getting you there because eventually they do want to sell you the, the paid version of of the courses so if you go there and you learn five different strategies and you decide that well i'm really interested in in converting properties to hmos houses in multiple occupation then at, at the end of that day they'll say right if you want to do a, a course in a HMO course then it will cost this much but you're not under any obligation to buy any course of course uh, but 
it, it, it will the, the day itself will give you a very good overview and maybe help you decide whether the property is for you or not. Uh, I certainly think it could save you a lot of money rather than saying, well, you know, I've got 50,000, I'm gonna put this all into one property because I think this area is going up because it's just had a railway station put in. You know, is that, you know, you might end up buying in the wrong area, buying the wrong type of property um, and, and buying something at the top of the market because people have already factored in the station going in. So you, you've just gotta be careful. You've gotta know how to research your market I just just know what you're doing i mean you wouldn't go and buy a share and just sort of say well let's get the financial times out and look at all the share prices and look at all the companies i mean you could you could look in the paper now uh and and see which companies you can invest in so say you take all the i mean that's only a few of them here and you just say well oh, let's pick let's pick that one shall we i'll just invest in that one you know you wouldn't do that you 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 want to know that that company is the right company that it's got good growth potential it's got good good management good good figures for the last few years and and all those things before you'd invest in in those shares so that's the same thing for for property you've got to look at the areas your strategy uh and and what potential there is for rental in the area what prices that the, the, the property will rent out for which will tell you what yield you're getting on the property so there's all these things to consider before you just go piling in and, and and buying something uh, on a buy-to-let mortgage and, and perhaps making the wrong decision. So it's worth spending a day or two taking out of your time uh, to, to learn about it before you, you jump in. Because I've seen so many uh, you know, amateur landlords and, and sometimes landlords that have inherited properties and decided to rent them out. And you know, it, can, it can lead to nightmares, it can lead to a lot of stress if, the, if they don't know how to do it, do it properly. So, so there you go. Thanks for listening again, and I will speak to you again soon. This is Charles Kelly. Thank you.